This is a love reading, a prediction for the month of October with me, Queen of Cups Tarot. And I hope you like the new Scorpio display with both death and transformation theme. Uh, as an extended member, you will get these readings ahead of time and with no ads. And I'm also doing spiritual growth readings for all the members to the channel every week and personal questions readings for the full members. Subscribe and then check out the many perks through the join button that will appear or follow the link in the description box to learn more about membership. And I can also recommend that you rewatch the previous love reading for October because that's the energy right now and this will be the prediction for November. And I will start reading your cards and I use the Golden Universal Tarot by Roberto de Angelis. When I open your deck here, I see the Six of Swords together with Two of Cups in the reversed. Uh, so it seems like you're trying to end some kind of relationship or maybe stop thinking about a certain person. Okay. So I call the Divine with Love and Light. And here we have the Four of Swords in the reverse with the Two of Cups. Um, I'm seeing you have put a, a lot of exercise into stop thinking about this person, stop bothering about this person, putting them on the back burner, um, not talking to the person, not looking at their social media. Okay. And I call the four archangels in the four corners of the world. And here we have the ace of cups with the two of cups. So it seems like you have decided that this person doesn't love you. And therefore you want to move on. You want to um, forget about this person or leave them behind. Okay. So I call the six elements. And here we have a six of coins together with two of cups. Hmm. Uh, it seems like you want to have more healthy relationships. But um, it's also some opening for forgiveness here or... Uh, maybe the person will come and make you happy again or they will come back and try to make amends. Okay, it's just minor arcana cards. So it can be, it's not big processes. Okay, so, oh, okay. <laughs> Karma we do have, but in other case, it seems like, uh, like everyday petty arguments kind of. Um, so six elements earth wind fire water spirit and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading for my dear leo viewers so i want my dear leos to have love in their life and to find themselves in loving relationships i also want you to have creative success and to be able to walk on your highest path towards your highest destiny okay so I uh, saw so the Wheel of Fortune and also the little Page of Cups vibrate, vibrated in my hand a little bit. So um, it might be that there will be a return of uh, karma with an um, invitation of love. Okay, so tune in for a few seconds here towards you, the person most on your mind and your relationship in November. So this is the new bottom of the deck and we have a two of swords in the reversed. Two of swords, four of swords is Libra energy. Uh, so it might be that someone has tried to stop thinking about you as well. But here they're picking their little face forward. Magician is communication. Might also be uh, tricks and manipulation. So you're a little bit careful. Um, okay. New bottom of the deck. Someone hiding their true face is what I'm feeling. Or their true intention or what they really want. They probably want something sweeter than what they are letting off. It seems like you have decided that they don't have the correct feelings. It might be that they have, but they don't show you those feelings. Okay, and this is the old bottom of the deck. So it's the lie. And here's the mask covering up for the lie. Okay. So... First, we see, look at the situation as it is uh, right now here. And this is the feelings level in the relationship. And then we will have the action and outcome layer. Okay, so we'll start with the situation. And we have a 10 of coins 
in the reverse. So it feels very much like a breakup or something didn't uh, become as good as it could have become or could have, have been. It's um, as if we put a lot of money into something or bet on something that didn't really work out or uh, didn't fulfill our expectations or uh, there might have been a problem with commitment or um, being loyal towards uh, one another or at least promising loyalty here and this is what's on your mind uh, ace of wands it's just a loss of interest a loss of passion it's uh, uh, this dream here it's not your goal anymore because it wasn't fulfilling uh, it wasn't giving you uh, what you had hoped and this is what's on their mind and here we have them you know the person with the lie and the mask sitting in the tower <laughs> or in their castle on their stone throne here um so the person is very stubborn um they see maybe you're losing interest but they i mainly feel like they try to act like they don't care or it doesn't bother them uh, at this stage here they are trying this is at least what's on their mind i want uh, i will act like i don't i'm not bothered by this but i will see with the lover's oracle here if we can see a little bit deeper what's going on there photograph looking at your photos missing you nostalgia make new memories oh so it's still with they are hiding here in their castle okay and your lack of inspiration there then is it true <laughs> cupid's arrow have faith love is coming surprise invitation or meeting hesitation uh, so you lost interest in this your interest might be sparked by someone else or something else we'll see or maybe your spark isn't really dead well we'll see it might also be different for for different constellations here so uh, use your own intuition if it pings like when i say that um, you probably haven't lost as much interest as you you think <laughs> then if it's a mm, ping yeah, and then, then that's the interpretation for you uh so this is the bond between you two and we have a knight of swords in the reverse so it seems like the bond or the tie between you has been severely separated either by someone's um, actions maybe telling you or you were telling them maybe it's uh, over for good or maybe they did something that made you feel like it's going to be over for good or maybe they say it's over for good even though they still look at your photos here um, also time might have passed by there's a lot of upside down cars so it seems like it's a lingering energy uh, of something old like maybe you took the dec decision ages ago but the first now you were able to take the action or maybe you took both the decision and action ages ago and you just have had a hard time moving on or starting to think about like other situations and um, like other <laughs> dreams you have failed to put your energy into others other dreams so it's lingering uh, this energy but something serious has happened that really cut ties between you two uh, or it can be that uh, someone said like words that's hard to take back or acted indifferent in a way that's hard to take back uh, so uh, this is your feelings and we have the queen of cups here with a cupid's arrow so you are busted <laughs> okay uh, most of you still have very sweet feelings towards this person uh, even though maybe you said words that indicated different or also it's the mostly the lack of hope maybe the heart still wants what it wants but the lack of hope here that you will ever be able to satisfy with your heart uh, was what uh, propelled this uh, development okay so this is the other person's feelings and we have the fool here so it's something inside of them that um, has awakened you know looking at your photos making memories missing you we also saw the page of cups sticking up its little head so pages children fool um it's very likely that uh, they haven't really had a clue about how things were for you in the relationship uh, so they can't even in the wildest imagination know how you feel and what made you lose hope like this because uh, uh, for them probably the relationship was uh, kind of fine and uh, uh, with the fool here um, they still have an interest in you uh, much like 
like the Cupid's arrow here is very much the similar a similar energy what I'm feeling with both these uh, these cards so um, you feel like your heart is loving this person in vain uh, but there's still like some kind of magnetic attraction even if the tie is severed you had the 10 of the wheel card coming out 10 the wheel uh, and so it shows that it's still on in some way like some, there's still some kind of drama lingering here uh, so this is your behaviors and attitudes and we have a six of cups in the reverse so you have given up the thought of reconciliation uh, you don't try to reconcile with this person you do try you don't try to reach out or you try to not think of of them and, and stop dreaming about reconciliation or that forgiveness or that this person uh, person will come and say that they're sorry or that they will happen like a, a resurrection of this relationship you're deciding that to to call it a day basically but it's we saw the six of swords in the reverse six of cups in the reverse so even if you have taken the mental decision uh, it seems this is the person most on your mind so it seems like you have had trouble to take get them off your mind this is their behaviors and attitudes and we have the ace of cups here um so it's classical you miss the cow first when the the barn is empty and um I guess this is what has happened here, but the person doesn't want to admit it uh, with the king of coins there. But with this, uh, when I read it together with these other cards, I'm thinking there's also a loyalty to the king of coins here. They see you have lost interest, but they never did. Not really. Uh, but uh, they have the mask that doesn't show their interest. So um, if they don't show uh, that they love you or are interested in you or cherish you or that you're important to them, how, how would you know? So you don't you don't never knew or um, they didn't give you a clue about this. So therefore, um, this consequence was happening like this breakup happened or the words were said that's um, hard to take back. OK, and this is the outcome for November and we have the temperance card in the reverse so hmm, it's uh, tricky because um this is about compromising uh, alchemic wedding you know i ship off a li little bit of my rough edges you ship off a little bit of your rough edges i try to make an effort for you you try to make an effort for me i try to take an interest in your interests and you try to take an interest in my interest but when it's in the reverse, something is off. And I mostly feel like it's from your end because this person seems so positive. Uh, they probably want to uh, to try to fix it with you. But from your side, maybe it's too little too late. And uh, I think that needs there needs a grand gesture from this person to flip this uh, alchemist uh, card, the alchemic wedding card upright again so it's in the reverse showing that it's just an impossible attraction but uh, that you probably feel it's not a good match or it's not going to work out and it's not a horse you want to bet on or it's not a relationship you want to continue but it's still this uh, hopeless attraction or pull towards this person or being unable to forget about them or to stop uh, pining for them <laughs> from a heart level so this is what Wait, this is you probably. Ugh, I'm getting insecure. So I'm, I want to say the question before the card pops up. So uh, to be thorough. Uh, so I want to see the truth that this person didn't want to expose. What is the truth? I never felt like this before. Okay, so they might be young or childish or foolish or unexperienced. So when they felt in this way for you, they couldn't experience it or um, determined that it was real love they just are oh, interesting I feel very close to this person and they might have had very little experience on how to treat another person in a love relationship or how to behave uh, when we are in love let's say that this person has um, um, they're a little bit shy or uh, they're a little bit introvert or whatever can be the problem so they haven't had much experience with this so their heart has been closed so they haven't been able to experience love before uh, but now with you something opened and happened and you felt it and you felt like it was more 
like, ah, oh, it's a done deal. You feel like this for me. I feel like this for you. But for them, it was something new and, and they didn't know how to express it or how to show it to you or how to honor it. Uh, so you probably got sick and tired of the whole thing and just say, ah, to hell with it. Um, you probably don't have the right feelings. So it's a waste of time. Uh, but I think that this is a person that it takes a while for them to come to that place of uh, understanding of their own emotions. But while they, when they have finally reached that place, they're probably a very, uh, very loyal person. Okay. And can have a hard time forgetting about you too. So, and this is your, um, what you would want to say. I don't think I ever truly knew you. No, uh, because you felt them probably on a soul level, like, ah, oh, we are this match, you love me, I love you, we're going to stick together, I can read you like a book, you can read me like a book, we understand each other, it feels good in a, to be together. But then this person didn't show the right actions or the right emotions or the appropriate response uh, to what you felt was true. Uh, so you felt like, no, this image I have of this person and who they truly are is two different things. It's, um, I'm hearing this song, I fell in love with El Diablo. <laughs> okay, so you feel probably that you fell in love with El Diablo and, uh, and this person is not the person that you thought they were. Uh, you have determined that, you have decided that this person is, uh, they can be uh, like a serial killer, mass murder. A player they can be like um, they can have addictions or uh, mental health problems or other things that they are hiding from you you don't know squat they might have a whole harm with other people that they are dating or um, they might have some major you know secret in their family or there's something making you feel like I don't know who this person is I thought I knew them but I don't and as long as I thought I knew them I also fought for this relationship but when there, this person's actions and words and deeds didn't match up with how you felt that they were, like the pure soul that you felt that they were, uh, then you, after a while, decided that I have fooled myself. Uh, I, I fell in love with an image or an illusion that's not there. And, and now I need to leave this sinking ship. So that's much what I'm, what I'm seeing here. And uh, looking at uh, what the divine would, uh, and like the outcome the divine sees for this new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Well, maybe you will find new love here. But I'm also feeling like for this person, it's like a fresh new love. And we have the aces here. And I never felt like this before. So I feel like a spring is coming from this person. But you have taken decision of that you want a new love. So we don't know which will will win in the end. But I will see if I can find an advice card for you. Soulmates. Okay. Um, so I think this I never felt like this before. And the new spring that comes in this person's heart is what the divine wants to, um, to communicate with you. But in the same time as a fellow human being, uh, I would want to say to you that uh, don't wait for a person that's, uh, you know, a hermit crab, <laughs> constipated, living in a shell or a hermit in a mountain. <laughs> um, it can be a big waste of time. OK, so just so you know, I'm come to think of a. Uh, um, a movie I have talked to you about before. It's a free solo. It's National Geographic. It's about a person that has, they're maybe a little bit on the scale and they have a relationship and it takes a lot of time before they realize the value of this relationship. So that movie could be, if you're not scared of heights or even if you are scared of height, it can be <laughs> very uh, very educating uh, for you when it comes to your own relationship here with this person. Or maybe it's uh, about you and your inability. It depends on which side of this reading you are on. Uh, so I would urge you to watch the What Do They Want to Happen Between You Two to get more information about this situation or the true thoughts and feelings to learn more. At my first channel page, you will find a playlist for your astrological sign where you can watch all the latest readings for your specific sign in one single playlist. 
on the end screen you will see the link to that playlist so go and check it out and thank you so much for watching and take really good care until next time and bye for now